Good morning, everybody. It is very, very early. Yeah. We have something really fun planned for you guys. Uh, it's a challenge. I think you guys might be able to tell by the name of the video. We're going to try to go and watch the sunset on one coast of Florida, mm -hmm. go to all four Disney parks, and then go watch the sunset on the other. Did I say sunset both times? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to... We're gonna, it's too early. We're gonna go and try to watch the sun rise on one coast of Florida, go to all four Disney parks, and then go and watch the sun set on the other coast of Florida. So we're headed to Cocoa Beach right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it is currently just a little after 5 a.m. So we have to go so we don't miss the sunrise. That's something you can't stop. Yeah. So let's go do it. We're off. Crossing over the intercoastal waterway, we're almost out to the barrier islands right now. Real close, we're about 15 minutes away, but the sun has started to rise. There it is. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm excited to go get out on the beach and actually see it out there. Peach, beach, let's go to the beach. Mickey Minjaj. Here we are. We're out on the beach for the sunrise. It's beautiful. Holy cow, there's a cruise ship coming in and there's a whole bunch of them I don't know if these are all cruise ships, but there's some more ships out there. Florida sunrises, you are so beautiful. Oh, look, there's a little spit of red coming out over the clouds right there. Where's Ooh. the sun? You see that spit of red? That's the sun? That's going to be the sun, yeah. Oh, that's like the, the Beatles' new number one hit. Yeah. That's there the is the sun. <laughs> it should be the sun at some point. We're on the beach. <laughs> it's called... Uh, it's uh, 46 degrees outside right now, and we're on the beach. I think it's just, it, it feels so much colder. Oh, because of the wind. Because of the water, yeah. The wind is like, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> it is very cold. But it's but, such a beautiful sunrise, honestly. It was so pretty. Look at that. Yeah. I got my feet all wet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the sun is officially up. Like this is sunrise, 6.41 in the morning. There it is, you can just barely see the very tippy top of the sun peeking out over the clouds. It always blows my mind how fast the sun actually rises. It does, it happens so quickly. Like look at that, It while we're talking, the sun is basically half the way out right now from behind the cloud. It looks beautiful. It's burning my retinas. <laughs> so there it is, the sun is officially up and we are on our way to Walt Disney World. Did you see these werewolf tracks? Werewolf tracks? Whoa, holy macaroni. <laughs> that is a big dog, whatever it is. It's a werewolf. Wow, <laughs> look at that thing. Oh holy cow. Bye bye beach, you were uh, beautiful yet cold. Look at us, JJ Abram, JJ Abrams in get up. <laughs> so we are off, we're on to the next part of our challenge day video. Where are we going? Disney. We're gonna yeah. go to Animal Kingdom first because that's the one that opens earliest. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's have a wild time. But we are headed into Animal Kingdom with everybody else. But I have a feeling everybody's gonna be heading towards Pandora. But where are we headed? To Dinosaur Land. Yeah. Dino Land USA. Yeah. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Look at this crowd of people headed over to the left. And then there's us. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's the tree of life. They have a ton of rose gold ears. I don't think they're gonna be hard. Hard to find anymore. What are you singing a tune to? The circle of life. Oh, okay, okay. And it moves us all. It's moving me <laughs> Dino Land USA. There's, uh, there's nobody in here with us. Well, there's a few people in front of us, but we're pretty much alone. Yeah. I think we're alone now. There but only seems to be about six people in front of us. About three. What would they say? What do you guys say? If they heard us singing Tiffany songs. I don't think they care. They don't. <laughs> what the heck, man? Hey, Jen. Yeah? 
Would you open the door sure. and then get on the floor? Oh. And then dance the dinosaur? On the floor? I think so. Oh. That's how the song goes, right? I don't know. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody dance the dinosaur. I think it's the dance floor. Oh. oh. Can you imagine more. people just laying on the ground dancing like a dinosaur? <laughs> how did dinosaurs dance anyway? I've never noticed the tagline to dinosaur. It's fast. It's a blast. It's in the past. <laughs> First one's here. It's a good thing we got our fast passes bypassing that five minute wait. Yeah, out of the way everybody. There's nobody even here checking our fast passes. Oh no, it's blocked off. Oh, is it closed? Is it down right now? No, but if you would like to use the scan high, it's about oh. five minute wait. Okay, she actually refused us entry to the fast pass because she's like, it's too short of a wait. Don't waste your fast pass, just change it. So, thanks, dinosaur uh, lady. She wasn't actually like a dinosaur lady. She just works at dinosaur. Hey, don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Everything. Time travel commencing in T minus ten seconds. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the water bottle, and get out. Let's go get that dino. What are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Computer, full stop. pretty scared on that there, right? I was. <laughs> I think because we were in the first row. I don't know. It was very scary. But I can tell you this. I've ridden that ride probably about 50 times. Probably more. And the dinosaur has never gotten me. Right. So I think it's safe. <laughs> well, Maybe. I, think, I think what it is too is like like all the noises. Were all those no. noises new? No, no. They just got them cranked up. Yeah, it was so loud. All the noises were very... It reminded me of Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but also... Thanks to the dinosaur lady, we changed our fast passes to what? Oh, we're gonna ride Navi River Journey. Yeah. Yeah, there was a fast pass available. King Just... of the fast pass. Yeah. King of the fast pass. Hey, look, it's the find of the day right there. Aww. Cause you're the, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. And you found me? I found you. Thanks. I was yeah. lost. I'm glad you Well, no, me. you're like, it was supposed to be romantic. It was. All right. <laughs> so we got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes before our fast pass over at Navi River Journey. Yeah. I think there's a short wait for Everest. Ooh. Let's go ride Everest. Yeah, let's do it. I have a feeling that we're trying to get to all four parks and this will probably be the only park where we ride a bunch of rides. This is the first thing in the morning. I have a feeling that once we get into the other parks, the waits are going to be too long. Well, because we, are we in spring break now? I don't know. I, I have no idea. So <laughs> spring break, I feel like the lines are going to be just nuts today. Oh yeah. Those are the Saimang apes making all their morning noises. What do you say, Jen? Should we go on an expedition? They sound like video games, don't they? It's a 10 minute wait. Let's do it. Here's stuff that you need to climb Mount Everest. Oh no, I forgot to pack my ice gear. We're going up to Everest and I don't, oh, it's so bright. And I don't have any of my mountaineering gear. Oh no, what happened to your ears? <laughs> This is where you see the most beautiful views in the wilderness. like 
A roller coaster baby. <laughs> I feel like we we sang a bunch of this vlog, or we are singing. Yeah. I like that. Perfect timing. Now we head over to Navi River Journey and ride that one. As we were walking next to the Saimang Ape uh, Habitat, we found these little people footprints. They're like little kids' footprints through the concrete. Look at them all. Oh, no. Jen's following them. It ends there. Magic. Look at this big long line to get into Festival of the Lion King. Wow. But we're going past all this because we're going into Pandora. And now we head down the path less traveled. We're not going to enjoy the beautiful bathrooms, but we are going to go into Pandora. We can barely hear the bugs of Pandora and we're already coming up on the end of the Flight of Passage line. Ooh, I wonder how long it is. Probably around four or five hours. It's a good thing we got a fast pass because here's the end of the line for Navi River Journey. The fastest of passes. Kingdom. Now we're headed to Epcot. Ooh, those words kind of rhyme. They did, and what else are we doing in Epcot? Oh, we have a character breakfast. We're gonna eat at the Garden Grill and meet Mickey and friends, I think, and maybe Chip and Dale. I, I think it might never, be Chip and Dale. I've never eaten at the Garden Grill um, for breakfast. I don't think I've eaten there. I don't know if I've actually eaten there. I like this single note piano song <laughs> fading away. It's beautiful. Ding, 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 ding. So long, Animal Kingdom. We're on our way to Epcot and to the Garden Grill. We got about 20 minutes to get there. Hopefully we make it. We'll see. I think we will. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day at Animal Kingdom with all these people heading in. They're not even coming off the tram. They're just walking in from the parking lot. See, here's the issue with Florida. What? It was freezing cold this morning, like in the 40s. Yeah, it's so hot now. Now it's getting up into the 60s That's and it's hot. Yeah. Here we go. We've made it to Epcot. It's gonna be a busy one. A lot of people waiting to get in. All right, we're inside Epcot, but we are late for our uh, breakfast, so we're running. We have to run through the Leave a Legacy plaques. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go, heading into the Land Pavilion to eat breakfast at Garden Grill with Chip and Dale. They turn the shape of a Mickey. You're still gonna have to make them the shape of that. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, Chip. No. Sorry, too many things are. Okay, here we go. I know. What are we gonna go with? One, two, three. Oh yeah, here. Thank you. Oh. I love it. <laughs> I like that we are going through living with the land here. You can see there's the house, but we're very slowly turning. Mickey's at the table right next to us right now. I don't know that I like sitting on the inside of this eating area because the inside wall doesn't move. It's pretty disorienting. Are you disoriented? I'm disoriented. Why? Because we're moving. Though, I didn't actually think we were moving. I know, but like this, right here, you see how it's... Like you can see it moving here. I didn't realize that this moves. No, this doesn't move. We're moving. I know, it's standing still. We're moving. I don't know. How many miles per hour? <laughs> There's Dale. Here's what we got. We got a sticky bun. We got tater tots. We got bacon. We got eggs. We got Mickey waffles. We got some sausage, we got some ketchup, some chocolate dipping sauce, and some syrup. And I got, what's this orange passion guava? Ooh, yeah. just, I think it's just passion guava. Oh, I love it. It's so delicious. I mean, it's no acorns. What? No, oh no. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Same problem. Same problem. It is heading into bikini season. <laughs> you guys that have been watching, has this bowl of fruit been here the whole time? Because it sort of just showed up. I don't remember it being there. Put it there, pal. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's like a little fuzzy on top. Oh no, it's gonna bite you. Oh no. Oh, hey, Mickey. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. A big hug. Yeah. Hello, Pluto. How are you? Hi. I like your collar. It's very nice. Very festive. <laughs> <laughs> Brought out the second skillet of food. You know what though? I will say that everything happens very fast. The characters come very fast. Yeah. We did come at the very end of breakfast, so they might be trying to like shoo us out. Well, I don't know if they're trying to shoo us out as much as they're just trying to probably like get everything ready for lunch. Let's see what the damage is. Not too bad. How much? It was sixty-one dollars for the two of us. I don't know if this was worth the price. We got a lot of food though. But as far as the characters go, it was too fast. Ah. I think they should have like maybe that's just my wishful thinking. I want them to stay around a little bit longer. But is that how most of them go? Well, yeah, that's sort of how it was when we did the princess thing, right? I don't know, they, they sort of talked to us for like a minute, and we got more than one picture of them. Well, see what it is, is all of the characters here, because they're working out in the pollen, yeah. their voices are, are a little bit messed up from the allergies, so oh, true, yeah, they yeah. can't stick around and talk for too long. That's true, so we were just climbing with them. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I forgot how to mime. Now that we're full of bacon and sausage, <laughs> it's time to try to ride something here at Epcot. Uh, I did get a fast pass. Ducks. Duck. Goose. Uh, I did hey, get a I fast pass. <laughs> yeah. Are you goose or am I goose? Yeah, yeah, I'm Maverick. You're goose. I feel like I should be Maverick. Oh, I'll be Iceman. Oh. Oh, <laughs> did you just dab on me? <laughs> you know you gotta dab on later. What the heck, Maverick? <laughs> uh, but I did get a fast pass for Frozen Ever After. What if in Top Gun they dabbed? What if in Top Gun they did dab? <laughs> Who's to say they didn't? I mean, I it's think been a long time since I've seen Top Gun. Flower and Garden uh, Pandora charms. Look at Mickey. Is that Minnie or Mickey? I don't. Know. I think it's Minnie. But they're wearing flower crowns. Here are the Flower and Garden Festival ears. Yeah, they're twenty-four nine. Oh, twenty-five dollars. I don't really like them. I think they're kind of cheesy looking. Oh, I thought they were kind of cute. Like this little thing that says flower and garden. Well, this is sort of silly, but I do like the rest of it. Yeah, just take that off and put a flower in there and it's they're beautiful. But then they're, you won't know that they're from Epcot. But they're sequined too. Oh, yeah, they look pretty nice. I kind of like them. Yeah. They are a lot smaller than like the ears you were just wearing. Like the, the roundy part, yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh no. Huh. Regulation size. <laughs> There's some fun tunes coming from over there because Steve Harvey is recording his show today. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Hey, Look at there's you can just see Pluto like off in the distance. She slowed down just for us. I was gonna sing the song. Oh, with Slappy Serapis. Look, there's Anna and Elsa in topiary form. <laughs> we came into the uh, Norway gift shop and Jen thinks that this is a doll of me as a baby. This looks just like you as a baby. It's a troll. Look at this tail, he's got a nice tail like you. Like a troll? <laughs> what the heck, man? Do you know what this reminds me of? Not to get off topic, I know this is a challenge day video, but um, have you seen the wear puffs? No. This is a thing on the internet where people have these like fake babies that look like werewolves, but they're babies and they feel like babies and they're heavy like a baby, like it's like a fake baby. It's just kind of like this, except for it's a werewolf and it looks more real. I'll show you a picture. Oh dear. I think that these, this would be my baby. <laughs> this one with the like fish. This one that's picking its nose. That's what I was showing. Here we go. Time for some Frozen Ever After. Using our fast pass. We got invited. All right. We're like we're like royalty now. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout.
Welcome back! Oh. Please remain seated till your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock. Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout! Yeah. Did you get wet? Bye bye yes. now! Bye bye! They're spraying water. There's like a flower and garden festival golf cart covered with flowers with some streetmosphere inside of it. That's fun and exciting. They're filming the Steve Harvey show out there. Hey, my fire. We did it. We made it through Epcot. We had food and we rode a ride. And water. We got I'm gonna, water. I'm going to say this. Waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning, like I've already hit my wall. Like oh, I'm, no. I'm ready for bed. We got to push through. Got to push through to the second wall. I think I'm going to have to get some kind of caffeine in the next park that we go to. Oh, I had some coffee at breakfast, so I'm good to go. But we're on our way over to Disney's Hollywood Studios to ride Tower of Terror. We got a fast pass. And then we just need to go over to Magic Kingdom and ride something there. Then it's off to the other coast to watch the sunset. I think that we gave ourselves enough time, like we, we have enough time to do all of this. Yeah. But I think it's the driving. Oh yeah. I think that's what's really throwing me for a loop here. Oh yeah. But you could take a nap in the car. Well, you could take a nap in the car too. Uh, the car doesn't drive itself. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Spaceship Earth. You looking beautiful. See you later, Goofy. We're off to another park over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Heading in to ride Tower of Terror. We're here, it smells like paint. Yeah, it smells like rubber cement. That's weird. But we're at our third park yeah. of the day. We just have one more park and one sunset and we're done. Yes. Hey Jen. Yeah? I'll see you at the crossroads, crossroads. Oh, it's the end of the month. I love oh. you guys. Oh, thank you. Our favorite ride here, Tower of Terror. So glad we got a fast pass for it. I know that this fast passing may be a bit confusing to some people because I'm getting fast passes for all of the parks. But you'll notice we made one fast pass, then used it, then made another fast pass, then used it. As long as you do that or you make three and use three, like we said, we are coming here to use our one fast pass for Tower of Terror. And then after we're done using that, I'll make another fast pass for Magic Kingdom. really good ride on Tower of Terror. It was good. They did this cool thing where we went down to the bottom and they showed the ending screen for like a second. So I thought we were done, but then we went back up and I was like, ooh. ooh. Somebody's glasses were floating around in front of my face. And oh, I like, yeah. I was like, oh, glasses. And I like reached out and grabbed them and I tried to catch them, but I ended up just like pulling them back into the car. But it was like, it was like zero gravity. Yeah, they were like floating. I was like, oh, something's floating. It's like I'm <laughs> underwater. It was really neat. Yeah, it was cool. That's a good ride for sure. One more park. Magic Kingdom. Yeah. We got a fast pass for, what did I say? Mansion. Haunted Mansion. Mm -hmm. Let's go ride Haunted Mansion. It's away from the red carpet radio cavalcade. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my co-host, it's none other than Ace Victory. Talent agent to the stars. I'm ready. Are you ready? Thank you so much. Yeah. I, what? I, no. I'm dating your sister. We talked about this already. I heard her. <laughs> We're on our way out of Hollywood Studios, headed to Magic Kingdom, our last park. Let's do it. Here we are. We're at the TTC, going over to ride the ferry to Magic Kingdom. Last park. We're doing it. Last ride. I feel so successful. 
Yeah. We're very, we, we did a pretty good job. We watched the sunrise, we're going to yeah. four parks. Even if we don't get out to the sunset, I would call this successful. We want to get out no, to the we're sunset, doing it, yeah. of course, we're but gonna... still a success. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. We got like three hours to get out to the sunset, so. But I didn't realize how like hard this was going to be, because I'm just thinking like four parks in between, like in an eight hour period. Oh yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah. But it's, it's kind of busy and it's not as easy as I thought it would be, so. We're doing it. And we're off. You guys remember when we did the little boats, those little sprites? We want to do it again. We were just talking about how we want to get out there again and rent two separate ones so we can race each other. Magic Kingdom with just enough time to ride one ride and then head out, drive all the way over to Clearwater for the sunset. You ready to get spooky in the Haunted Mansion? I'm ready. Oh. Because it's Halloween, Halloween, everybody. Let out a scream, because you know it's Halloween. It's March. Yeah, <laughs> but it's Haunted Mansion. Yeah, let's do it. It's a good thing we got our fast passes because it's a 70 minute wait for the Haunted Mansion. We would not have time for that, but we got fast passes. Right here is a g -g -g ghost horse. <gasps> ghost horse. The spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated. It's a frightfully sensitive and bright lights. our heads off. We just got off on a mansion. Now we are our own parade. We're walking down the parade route. Uh, we're just trying to get out of the way actually. But yeah. So that's it. That's all four Disney parks. At least one ride in each Disney park. Animal Kingdom we kind of had more than one. But that's okay. It was well, fun. We had enough time to ride a couple so we were like we're doing it. So now we need to get back out to the car. Drive out to Clearwater, hopefully catch the sunset. On the opposite coast. So we watch the sun rise on the east coast. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to the west coast of Florida and watch the sunset. Yeah. So this will have been our Florida coast to coast sunrise to sunset all four Disney parks challenge. Holy macaroni. This one mm. we just kind of made up. It was just one of those where it's like all four Disney parks in one day is fairly easy to do. So what else can we add on top to make it hard? I think you did a pretty good job. It's, it's pretty, pretty stressful. Yeah. But we're doing it. I like live for the stress. <laughs> no, no, I don't. As we were leaving Magic Kingdom, we thought we're gonna make it. This is gonna be good. I think we're we got plenty of time. I don't think and we do. Now. The ferry boat pulled up right when we got here, and then we got on the ferry boat, and they're doing a shift change over at the other docks. So now we're just sitting here, and it's been about 10 or 15 minutes that we've been sitting on this boat, and the time is just ticking away. We've got like a two and a half hour drive out to Clearwater. And what time? I didn't even look to see the when. Sun sets at 6.31. I think that is all the way down at 6.31. Are you sure? Yeah. What time is it right now? 3.19. 3.19. We're not in the car yet. Uh, Cutting it close. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we can do it. did the math. I think I think we're going to make it. It's about 3.45. I put it into the GPS. It says that it's a 2 hour and 15 minute drive. Ooh. So that should get us there right around 6. Like right at the right time. Sun starts to set at 6. 
<laughs> Sun will be all the way down at 631. You think we can do it? Man, I think it, if, we... if we hit any traffic, it's done. Here, well, I'm gonna say this right now, and let me leave me a comment down below if you agree. I think if we see any portion of the sun still above the horizon, it counts. Yeah. Right? I think so. Okay. Right? I think that our biggest issue is gonna be parking out at Clearwater, but oh. we'll, we'll find it out. We'll figure it out. I didn't even think about that. We'll get it done. Well, we're trying to get to Pier 60, which is like the first place that you come to, like the road from here to Clearwater dead ends into Pier 60. Oh, so that's okay. like the closest beach to here. This is not looking good. Our estimated arrival time went up to 6.09. Oh no, it just went down to 6.08. Oh, what is going on here? Traffic. Dang. Just this little bit of traffic that we're in right now may have ruined the entire challenge. Because the GPS now says 6.12. That's cutting it way, way close. Like it's red forever. <laughs> it's like red until we get to Tampa. At what point do we concede and not drive two hours? To, to like know that we missed it? Yeah. Um, well, I think what we should do, like are we about to get on the road to Tampa? Yeah, there's no way around it. We're gonna be on the road to Tampa. So, I still think we should watch the sunset on the water, even if we can't go to the west coast of Florida. We should still watch the sunset. Okay. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Can we not watch the sunset on the east coast? No. It's, <laughs> it sets on the on the west. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Can we just go to the beach on the east coast and then look behind us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't. Oh, this stinks. It's out of our hands. Like, we did it. We would have done it if this traffic hadn't been here. But I think that's part of the challenge. Is traffic? Well, that's what I was saying earlier. How I, I was like, I don't know if this challenge is really going to be that exciting because it's going to be so easy. Going to four parks is super easy. But the traffic is the part that we can't... That's the variable. Yeah, I think we, I think we went to, on too many rides at Animal Kingdom. Well, no, because we still would have been stuck at Epcot. We could have gone on a ride uh, before, before we had breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. Oh no, Dang. our timing was wrong. Yeah. Shoot, mm -hmm. should have only done one ride. Well, sorry, that was my fault. No, it's okay. We tried. Yeah. We All did. Right. We well, gave it our best try. This guy. <gasps> that guy has the idea. Just break oh the law. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, there was like a tire in the middle of the side there. What is? Do you think that guy like really has to poop or something, <laughs> or do you think he's just like? I don't care about the law. I think he's probably a little bit of both. Oh, uh, good times. I hope there's a cop up there. The time went up to 624. Oh no. Well, this is not happening. We may run into a problem every time we try to do a challenge. What? But at least we're attempting them. Oh. Right? Well, the last time we still made it through, even with our, like, you know, our mistake. Yeah, we still got through nine parks because they added in Fun Spot, but even then we still went to Legoland. We just didn't ride right. a ride there. Yeah, we still drove out there. So, I mean, we are still going to the beach. So we're moving again, and I know we're not going to make it, but then I looked at what the options were for turning around. <laughs> uh, either way, I'm going to be stuck for a while. We're going to change up our final destination. We're still going to watch the sunset. We're still going to watch it over the water. We're just not going to make it all the way out to Clearwater. We're gonna go into Tampa Bay, which is technically part of the Gulf uh, of Mexico. So, technicalities. I say we did it, <laughs> but we're gonna well, go. If, if we could get there on time. Yeah, we should be able to make it, because it's a lot closer. The Tampa to Clearwater is like another hour, so, or 45 minutes. So I think we're gonna make it to Picnic Island, which is a little state park on Tampa Bay. So we'll be on the water, watching the sunset, I don't think it'll be like a sandy beach, but it'll be a beach of sorts. And that, I think that'll be the best that we can do. And we're here at Picnic Island Park. This is a nice park. Uh, it should be a beautiful place to watch the sunset for sure. I mean, we're pretty close. The other beach that we would have gone to would have been across this bay and across the uh, little piece of land that's on the other side of the bay and that's an hour away from this. So we're here 
right here. And where we wanted to go was all the way over here. We're still technically looking at the Gulf like water, so I think this is still a win for us. But really, we wanted to be on the outer edge of the state. Yeah. So we're close. We are close, but we're still gonna get a nice sunset over the water. I mean, this really does feel a lot like a beach. Cause it is, we're on the water, there's waves, there's sand and stuff. It's nice. I think what really makes it the beach is all the stuff. Yeah. Beach, beach, let's go to the beach. Mickey Minjaj. This was pretty, pretty good. We made it to within an hour of our goal. I call this a win. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment down below if you think that we completed the challenge or do you think we failed? We've only got about 10 minutes left for the sun to go down. It's looking really nice. Here's our spot out on the beach. We're, uh, we're holding it down. It's actually a pretty nice little beach. Yeah, I like it. It's also very windy out here, as you guys can tell by my like little floof on top of my head. That's why I have this on, because it's <laughs> so cold. Also, in case you guys are wondering, that's St. Petersburg down there. That right there, that leads out to the Gulf. So like, that's it right there. So this is the Gulf. It's just there's like a little peninsula right there that we were trying to get on the other side of. Do you guys see the gradient that's starting to show up in the sky? That is going to be a nice sunset. All this wind has me thinking, I want to buy a kite. Let's go for a kite. Not tonight. Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to keep singing. I was just going to say not tonight in between each one. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I do want to buy a kite in the future though because it would be fun to fly one right now. It's windy enough. Strap the GoPro to it, see how it looks. I think it'd be cool. I think this is a really great way to end out our our challenge. Yeah. Like it really kind of, you know, mellows out the uh, all the craziness from the day. Definitely it does. And there it goes. Thanks for hanging out all day, Mr. Sun. You made the day more enjoyable. That's what this was. This was like our day hanging out with the sunshine. We watched it come up, we played in the parks, and now we're watching it leave. It looks awesome. And thus ends the Florida sunrise to sunset, coast to coast, four park Disney challenge. One heck of an eventful day. A little bit uh, nerve wracking there in the middle. Now that it's done, it feels good. I'm not looking forward to this drive home through the traffic though. So there you have it. That was our challenge day. I think we did it. I think we completed it. We watched the sun rise on the beach. We're sitting on a beach now watching the sun set. There's the Gulf of Mexico is out in front of us. Drove across the entire state. We did a lot today. Yeah. I think that's the, the main the main thing about these challenges is that it's just fun to kind of push yourself yeah. and to see if you can do it. And I think it's really fun for us to do it together yeah. because we kind of like motivate each other, you know, and, and try to keep each other positive. And, and I think it's just a really fun thing to do. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.